In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Universal Aux. I wanna thank the people at Sweetwater for making this possible. If you're new to the channel, I have hundreds of how-to videos and gear review videos, so if you find some videos you like, I make new ones every week, so don't forget to subscribe. Now, the first thing I wanna tell you is, is that I can understand the appeal right away. Out of the box, the first thing that was really impressive is, is it's really dumbed down. It's really a basically pull it out of the box, stick it on top of your amp, within minutes you're going. In fact, you don't have to do anything. No programming, no nothing. You just plug your amp right into the back of this thing, into your cabinet, and you have an attenuator that's basically like most of the attenuators I've tried. It does the same thing those attenuators do, which is kind of darkens the tone. Now, some attenuators are better than others, but most of them kind of have a darkening effect, and this is no exception. The main thing I noticed was that you have to kind of run the highs on your amp a little bit more, and you can go into the presets using your tablet and kind of adjust that, and that does fix it, but I find that no matter what I do, there's just a little bit of a darkening effect, which means your amp settings are gonna be slightly different than what they would be if it was not plugged into this thing. So let's go over some of the features because like I said, it's pretty basic in what it does. It has a six way selector switch with six presets. You can either use the ones that came with it or put in your own. Now, unlike some other technology on the market, this does not have programmable IRs. Universal Audio has their own cabinet speakers and you select from those. That's another reason why, like I said, it's kind of dumbed down. You just kind of find the settings you like with your tablet and you're good. You find a setting like, I like this 212, this 412, this 112, this kind of voice speaker, that kind of voice speaker, this room, these two, three mics. You just set it all up using basically a very, very easy platform of just looking at a picture and moving things around. And there's your sound. You also have the ability to add reverb, delay, a limiter, and EQ to any of those settings. And again, all of it programmed, but what the best part is, once you kind of mess with it with your tablet, it's saved into one of these six presets. Now, what I found is I don't really personally need more than three. I have kind of like an affected one, one without the effects, and then something a little different, and I can get any sound I want out of those three, but I could see where if you want more, there's a couple extra spots. Then you have this control right here, which is the room, how much of the room mic you're basically getting. And again, that's kind of nice too, because in a situation, if it's too close to the speaker sounding uh, for your simulation, you don't have to get out the app, do all that programming again. You could just literally make the adjustment right here. <laughs> a speaker attenuator volume, which is pretty simple. It's got uh, basically five clicks and it takes you from no sound coming out of the speaker to basically, and I say basically, the speaker at full because you can tell when you bypass this thing that even at five, it's attenuated just a little bit. And when I say just a little bit, it's not so much a volume drop, it's like, again, that tone change. This will have an overall effect to darken your amp just a little bit. Then you have line out, which is pretty straightforward, and that's running right now into my Clarit, which is going into the computer, which is what you're going to be hearing today. And then of course you have a headphone control with a headphone out. On the back, again, pretty straightforward. You have your own selector, you have the amp input, speaker output, two line outs that you can run out to pretty much anything. You can run it out to an FRFR cabinet, which is really cool. You can run it out to the, to, to the interface for recording. You can run it, run it out to your PA mixer. You can run it out to another amplifier. You name it, just, it's two lines out. You can run it mono or stereo. It's up to you. Now, what I love about it, I'm running my Plexi right now. I'm gonna give you a taste of that. What's great about that is I don't actually have any volume in the room, none. Uh, what you're hearing is just direct in. If I wanna run that through my monitors, I would hear it. Otherwise, you're not hearing anything. This amp is making no volume. So I'm taking essentially this uh, flamethrower of an amplifier, <laughs> this thing that just basically roars on volume one, and I've tamed the beast, so to speak. I can play it at any volume. And what's nice is I can add in some of it if I want. I can add in, right now I'm, I'm listening to a monitor in the room, and I'm gonna blend in some of the speaker. <laughs> You 
can blend in how much of the speaker you want to hear, none at all, or how much of you just want to hear in your monitors or your direct recording. So you can imagine on stage, it has a lot of uh, benefits and a recording situation has fantastic benefits. There's something that I never would have saw until I got one that I hopefully I can help you with. This can help you save money once you have it. What I mean by that is a lot of times now, because the goal for a lot of players, even touring ones, is to get amplifiers that are not as loud. In other words, the 100 watt amplifiers are not as common as they were, let's say 20 years ago. Well, you can find really great amplifiers everywhere, pretty inexpensive. There's a lot of 100 watt and 50 watt amplifiers that sometimes are less expensive than their 20 watt counterparts. Mesa Boogie is one of those companies that I come to mind, same with PV, where you find their 100 watt heads sometimes used as a deal over their 50 watt or 25 watt counterparts. Well, with something like this, the amplifier's wattage has no factor into anything. You just plug in whatever you want into this and you can make it any volume you want and it's gonna sound really good because like I said, even though it has a darkening effect, you can, only, you can EQ the amp or you can EQ it from the aux. Either way, you can dial in a sound that you find very pleasing. Another thing that I absolutely love is you can actually create a really fantastic wet dry rig. Selection two on my amp is delay and reverb added in. So let me go show you that. Now what's great is right now you could run that line out if you wanted to into an FR, FR cabinet or to another amplifier and then use the attenuator here to blend in this cabinet. So in the room right now, I'm gonna have this cabinet going. said I have one cabinet in the room that I'm getting delay and reverb on and then of course I'm getting the amp uh, the actual amp sound coming out of the speaker and it's essentially working like a wet and dry I'm hearing the actual amp sound and I'm hearing something with effects there are some negatives one of the negatives is the power plug it's very strange <laughs> they use essentially a microphone cable as the power plug it's a very odd thing I'm not a big fan I think most musicians will be this way we're not big fans of uh, companies using proprietary type cables it always makes you nervous. If you lose the cable, you're going to have to buy their cable. If you lose the cable, you won't be able to find one in a pinch. And so there's some things there that would really uh, make me nervous. Now, I'd also like to point out, I changed the jewel in mine to blue. They come with an orange yellow one, and that's just something you can change out. I just changed that out. I should point out that. I just thought it looked cooler with blue. So let me try some other settings. Here we go. So the biggest concern I had before getting this unit was, was I gonna be able to utilize it? Can I figure it out? Is it gonna be complicated? Is it gonna sound good? And then lastly, of course, is it worth all this money? And what I can tell you is, it absolutely sounds good. It absolutely is easy to use, and it is absolutely expensive. So that's something you have to think about. But at least now, with some feedback, I hope you guys can, can kind of make a better decision. Um, I can tell you right now that I've utilized more amps than I've ever done before. It's made me even want to get more amps since getting this thing. I've kind of acquired a couple extra amplifiers because I kind of feel now I have more use for them. Where before I was always using the smaller amplifiers and the bigger amplifiers were just something I wasn't interested in. Now I'm using whatever amplifier I feel like that day. It's helped me utilize more of the gear I already had and kind of helped me focus on doing more of the recording aspects and getting more stuff done. Like I said, it's been a really, really cool product and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. As always, I wanna thank you guys for hanging out, supporting the channel, and until the next time, know your gear.